Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I took the last two days off and honestly, I've been itching, itching to get back to vlogging. Yesterday, we had a really sort of big meeting, like Zoom meeting, and it was right in the middle of the day and I was just like, meh. And then what did we have the day before? The day before we had something too. I can't remember what that was. But I thought it was just best to take those days off and come back today. Now, the rest of my team have the day off today. It's supposed to be really, really beautiful today. And Ali and I, usually when it's weather like this, we just want to take the day off. So our team benefits from it. So they're all just like at home chilling. I'm up and I'm going to go for a run. I'm test driving these bad boys. I bought them from a shop called Wiggle after Ali's friend, Josh Patterson. He recommended them. Josh Patterson is savage. <laughs> Apparently he just ran six marathons in five days around his back garden for charity. He does stuff like this all the time. I'll link his Instagram in the description box down below if you wanna go and have a look. Um, I believe he's sponsored by Hocker, but he's like, they are literally the best trainers ever. And I've purchased them. They have a very, very big, thick sole on them because a lot of the stuff that I do is like, I run on roads. I do run on some like terrain as well, but I thought for running on roads, this would be a nice like squishy surface. Also, my husband bought me some special running socks as well. My feet are test driving rather a lot today. They're quite tight, but I have taken my actual size. But yeah, I bought them from a place called Wiggle. I ordered them on a Sunday and they arrived on the Monday. Ali ordered his, I believe, on a Friday. He's still not got them. Just as a heads up, Wiggle has amazing delivery. So I'm gonna head out on my run today. This weather is glorious. And come back, get washed, get ready, and I'm probably gonna get the garden like zhuzhed. Just get all of the garden cushions out and I think it'll be a lunch and day in the garden. I've ordered a crate of Whispering Angel. I don't think it's gonna arrive today, but meh, it's not so bad. We shouldn't really be drinking midweek. It's literally Wednesday. So despite having the day off, it's probably a good thing that we have no Whispering Angel. Anyway, I'm gonna stop randomly faffing with you guys and I'm gonna get on my run because if I don't go now, I'll never go. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Now, I'm not saying it's the trainers, <laughs> but I have just ran the furthest that I've ever ran from my house. And uh, basically, I got to the third kilometer and realized when I'd paused my watch to let some people walk past, I forgot to start it again. So I missed out on a whole kilometer of running. So I was like, right, Lydia, you've got to keep running. So I ran to about three and a half K, which is actually four and a half with the kilometer that I didn't record. And now I've got to run back. So that's nearly nine kilometers today, but it's beautiful and it's so warm. And look at this. I've never even seen this area before. As usual, my ponytail did not make it back from my run. I honestly felt like Forrest Gump today. I just kept on running and running and running and running. I did 9K today, which is a PB. I don't think I've ever ran 9K before. Basically what happened <laughs> was I got down to um, a certain point and there was an elderly couple coming the other way. And so obviously I stopped. I stood over to the side as far as I could to let them pass and I paused my run. And I then forgot to resume my run when I started running again. So I actually ended up running a whole K without recording it. And I don't know why that just, mm, that annoyed me a little bit. So once I got to the turnaround point of my run, which is about 3K, I'd actually only done 2K. So I was like, do you know what? I've never ran past this point. So I'm just gonna keep going. So I ran until I'd done, I think about 4K, which obviously I'd done 5K at that point. And then I turned around. It was beautiful, I took so many pictures. Such a warm, sunny day today. It was just perfect. Actually on Monday, I ran with headphones in and I was listening to a book that my brother told me to listen to. I forgot my headphones today, but I didn't feel like I needed them. I didn't realize how much thinking I do on my runs. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. I went through a roller decks of things that I've been thinking about and things that I'm enjoying and what I want to be doing and what I want to change. And I get back and I'm like in such a good little mindset. And I made sure that I said hello to absolutely everyone on my run. That's something I would never normally do. I'm someone that's sort of just, I don't really want to be seen on my runs and I'm very much like just ignore people. Lumi. 
stop it. You've got 40 minutes. I'm now going to make my morning protein shake that I have to have. It's now like my little reward. It was one of the things that I read in that book, The Sweet Spot. I know I haven't spoken about it for a while. I need to listen to that again. It was one of those things that I listened to in the sweet spot about like motivating yourself to get up and work. She would say that if you said to yourself, like if I run every day for the next month, at the end of this month, I'll buy myself a pair of really expensive shoes. The reward is too far away for you to want it enough, if that makes sense. So if you have something that you allow yourself to do every day, that's like your reward, which for me, this and my like, like little banana-y protein-y concoction is my reward. So I only get to have this if I've been for a run or I've worked out and that is really spurring me on. Anyway, I'm gonna make my smoothie, crack on with my day. I'm in a good mood, just ran 9K, feeling snazzy. What is my morning smoothie? I put three quarters of a pint of soy milk into a glass, like so, into my Thermomix. Banana, although I only have one banana left, which is a little bit annoying. I'm gonna have to go to the local shop. So nice to have a local fresh produce shop. You have no idea how happy it makes me. Drop this in to there. Lulu. Don't knock my sproutlings over. Spoon of protein powder. And sadly, I bought smooth peanut butter instead of crunchy, but we're just gonna have to go with it. You all right, my love? So this is the pip and nut one. Give it a little stir. And then, it's probably a bit much. And then a spoon. Put the lid on. Turn the Thermomix on. I usually set it for 10 seconds. Speed six. We've been trying out some new eco dishwasher tablets and at the moment, I think we're probably gonna try some other ones because they're not really getting everything clean. Like on the back of this, it's not particularly clean. But we are trying to find eco washing up tabs for the dishwasher that work and to replace the ones that we already had. Anyway, pouring this into the glass. Oh, have we over-egged it? We might have some left over. No, perfection. Look at that. Stick in my metal straw. Wash this up and enjoy. I'm gonna add some ice. I always get to add ice. Tell you what, having a shower after a run is probably one of the best gifts ever. Uh, you can see my running kit there. What I am going to do is, I'm currently doing a little mini course of my teeth whitening strips just to give my teeth a bit of a zhuzh. If you watched my little mini morning routine vlog over on my Instagram, I did like a mini Instagram vlog. I drink about three or four black coffees a day. I've also got into red wine recently and they are probably two of the worst things that you can ever do for your teeth. Instead of doing like a full 14 day course, which is what they recommend, I'm doing just a couple of days until I'm like, yeah, teeth are back at their good point, their sweet spot. So what I use when I'm doing a little mini whitening session is I use these Spotlight whitening strips and I use these on the upper and the lower teeth as well. Um, these come as a little bundle, but basically you get a set of these and you get the whitening toothpaste as well. And then I use these in conjunction with Spotlight Oral Care Whitening Toothbrush. That's like my little teeth at home care, especially in between doing my Invisalign at the moment. I think that your teeth get quite discolored when you're doing Invisalign as well. So I'm trying to maintain the whiteness because I love having white teeth. This has been my little at home teeth care package. And you literally get these as a set. So you'll get a set of these and this as well. Now, I don't tend to wear too much makeup, especially on sunny days. I tend to go for bright eyes and bright teeth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these on. And if you don't know my usual routine with them, I kind of dry my teeth a little bit and apply them on. They say to do the bottom first. So I'm just gonna go a little dry, like so. Push them onto the teeth like that and do the top ones as well. 
I really make sure <laughs> I really make sure to push them into the cracks of my teeth because that's where I get the most discoloration from like coffee and wine and stuff like that. This part of the little vlog is in partnership with Spotlight Whitening. As you know, I am their ambassador and I have a 25% off discount code if you want to try this stuff out. Don't just take my word for it. People are raving about this. Uh, people that aren't working with them and people that are working with them because the products actually work. I think that's kind of a testament, I'm lisping all over this joint, but that's kind of a testament to the brand and what they've created. The brand has a real sort of focus on sustainability as well. All of their packaging is carbon negative, I believe, carbon neutral, carbon negative. And um, it's just so great to see a brand like this like leading the way in the industry because I can imagine like all of the big dogs like, oh my gosh, how have they managed to do this? But anyway, I'm gonna leave these on. I'm gonna go upstairs, probably pop some moisturizer on and a little bit of makeup just to brighten me up a little bit. Then I'm gonna spend most of the day in the garden. So a good SPF, a good SPF, little makeup and some nice light clothing is a plan of action for today. So I'll leave this on whilst I do that. Then I'll wick, wick, whap, whop whack them off, give my teeth a brush, use the spotlight mouthwash that you are currently rested on and I should be ready for the day at that point. We have had some deliveries. I think that that is my crate of whispering angel and I only ordered it yesterday. If it is, Mr. Mill and Gordon and I are in big trouble. <laughs> So I'm in my dressing room now. It's a little bit too hot to sit in my dressing gown. So I'm already in a top. This is one of my famous Bardo sleeve tops. I've cut the sleeves off this one so that it's slightly less restrictive. And I wear it a lot like a bikini top. So I actually have bikini bottoms on already. I'm going to put SPF on today. So I'm gonna use a tinted SPF today. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 Plus, And this is their tinted one. SPF should be an absolute essential in your everyday routine. Oh gosh, at the moment because it's hot here in England. So I'm gonna use, can't I realize, I just not put this on. So I'm gonna put my By Terry CC serum just over the top. As I said, minimal makeup because it's gonna be nice and sunny today. And I wanna get a tan because I'm gonna be in the garden. And obviously to get the glow, these are probably three of my favorites at the moment. I'm now going to finish off doing a light makeup because this is not a beauty tutorial. Sorry, I wish it was, but it's not. And get in the garden. I don't know already, I am utterly obsessed with every kind of face mist that there ever was. I love spritzing my face with face mist. I'm using the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. I'm not finding this the most hydrating. I would probably say my favorite face mists at the moment are the one that I make myself, my Bougie by Terry Detoxamine face mist and Rose and Neroli from Audacity and the Elizabeth Arden one, which I've just ordered more of. But that's me finished. My husband is now getting all of the cushions out for the garden so that I can set up a little camp there and potter around the garden for the rest of the day. I'm gonna get my spotlight whitening strips off. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna do my mouthwash because oral care is just as important as all of this. Despite the fact that Mr. Mill and Gordon has not made the bed, our house is currently immaculate. We had the biggest and deepest clean yesterday, even the kitchen, oh, with the door. Oh, hello. Oh, caught red-handed, are we? <laughs> Eating the vegan banana and walnut cake. But yeah, he's just been getting the cushions out. I wonder if you'll sweep the patio, babe. Okay, get it off. Oh. So what I find with the strips is that initially when you put them on, it's quite hard to talk, but they do very quickly settle into your teeth so that you can wear them no problem. So don't be afraid to sort of give yourself a bit of a top up if you're at work or sat at your desk or something like that. And then if you've got like a toothbrush with you, Spotlight also do like little bamboo ones that you can pop in your handbag if you need to. I'm obviously using my Sonic toothbrush with the whitening. I'll link the set down below because I definitely think that that's probably the best option to go for. You want kind of like the whole thing. Uh, so I'm just going to clean any residue off my teeth. I've just topped up my lip balm, which is the Code 8 AMPM at the bar. I will link the Spotlight Oral Care products that I've used as well. I'll link the bundle and also the individual products in case you want to just pick up one or if you're fancying taking the plunge. I know that lots of you already love it so much and use it, but um, for me, it's made such a difference. Ali is currently hoovering the patio. We've got this weird like 
You might have seen it when we cleaned the um, courtyard downstairs. It's like a hoover and a blower all in one. He's hoovering the patio at the moment. I'm going to make it all beautiful out there for us to sit outside. I just love how colorful this little flower bed is. Oh my gosh, my roses are almost blooming. Oh my goodness, there's one that's bloomed. Oh guys, you have no idea how happy this makes me look. I can't wait, I can't wait. Look at all of these buds. Guys, this is so exciting. I'm having one of those days where I feel like I'm living my best life, you know? where you're just happy and content. I started this vlog this morning and I was like, I don't really know what the sort of like, the context of this vlog is gonna be. And I don't know if it's gonna be very interesting because there's not much planned, but I'm just having one of those days where I feel good and I'm happy and I'm stress-free. I just wanna potter around my house. I think what I'm gonna do is pick some flowers from the garden. We have so much cow parsley and I know that it's essentially a weed but I want to make use of it so I'm gonna pick some cow parsley and do maybe some arrangements on the table um, for lunch and yeah just live a good life today also sorry I've just lit my incense I'll link these down below these are the only incense that I use they're kind of like a coconutty incense and they're just oh, not sickly really nice and subtle but kind of smoky at the same time it's really nice the shears that ali has got me as a gift haven't arrived yet so i'm going to borrow his oh we've got some cloths that need cleaning these are all of our old cloths that we're going to use up and then slowly transition to more eco-friendly ones as always i just want to say i'm not lecturing you guys we're all in this together and we're learning things and eco things together and I don't want you to be put off by feeling like I'm perfect and I get it right every time I don't. I'm just learning and making choices like I said about the um, dishwasher tabs. If I find good ones I'll let you know I'm just not convinced on the ones that I've been using because things haven't been coming out that clean so if that worries me a little bit. I'm going to go into my vase cupboards. Um, I think I want some glass ones though so uh -huh. I think I will probably go for this one. I love this one. It's quite funny. A lot of my favorite vases are the ones that come with flowers, like when I get bouquets sent to me, but I've got a lot of these little ones that I can make little posies with as well. I got these when I did a little flower arranging course last year. And maybe one of these. Ooh, cheers, guys. <laughs> but we'll see how much we get from the garden. I might do one with like cow parsley and one with some flowers from the wall. I've just had some PO box bits delivered. I think it's a sustainable, yeah, eco razor. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mention sustainability in this video so much because I want you guys to know this is not me lecturing. It just so happens that this lady contacted me and as a hairy person, and obviously I've been having laser hair removal, which has been amazing. I've had about three sessions, but unfortunately it's been three months since I had my last session and naturally the hair is starting to come back. So it's getting me down a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I really, really wish I could just pop and have a quick laser session. This packaging is so gorgeous. This is called Rose and Thorn. The attention to detail with this brand is just beautiful. Your decision to shave sustainably will reduce the amount of plastic going into landfill and the sea. You can reduce it even further by sharing your experience of this razor with others. More change means less plastic. And this is what I, I think I mean when I'm like, every little change helps. So if you can't cut down your meat consumption and you don't want to cut down your clothing consumption and you prefer non-eco dishwasher tablets, but you can make a change to an eco razor, that's what you're capable of doing. So that's enough and that's good. So don't be discouraged. But the packaging on this, this is one thing that I'm finding is that a lot of eco brands are doing are making their products beautiful, which naturally as humans, we're drawn to beautiful things. And so this is like a solid metal razor. Now I'm sure this is going to take some getting used to. I have some little information here. Basically just saying to start slow, do not press down with the razor. Don't get hung up on the angle. So it's gonna be a bit of an art. And for someone that has to do like their whole body, it scares me a little bit because I have to do like all of the weird nooks and crannies as well. <laughs> 
I'm gonna give it a go though. I have also just had a very, very kind delivery from Wellco. I really hate saying that when I'm like, kind delivery but um, it's the stuff that I use. I bought the other stuff myself, so I was like, oh, <laughs> it's really nice of you to send it to me. It helps a lot. So they've given me a top up of the protein powder that I use, which is premium sprouted brown rice and pea protein, but it tastes delicious. I haven't tried this. This is their aquatic collagen skin, hair and nails oral powder. Then this is the super elixir. So I think this is what they started with. And this is the lemon and ginger flavor, which again, I haven't tried. And then this is their fortifying calming tea, which smells very funny, but is very, very lovely to taste just as an FYI, and then they've sent a bottle as well, which you have your super greens in. But thank you so much, that's very useful to me because I actually use it. Little arrangement, I mean, it's not really an arrangement, it is just some of the flowers from my wall, but I've put them into a vase of water. I did read up that it said add a little bit of bleach. It scares me a little bit though. I don't know whether bleach is the thing to do, but I'm gonna do a little bit more reading on flowers from the garden, because it's something that I definitely want to do more, especially when I get my lovely shears. Also, I'm about to cook a courgette and asparagus risotto so I'm just getting all of my ingredients together I have just had a little bit of a cake that is on the stand I just love having a cake on my cake stand that's my favorite thing I definitely want to get into the habit of making them more I've got all of the ingredients as well so maybe I should make my usual cake but I might save it for the weekend I'm gonna get cracking because to be honest risottos for me are quite a lot of like thought someone is mowing their lawn as well so I'm going to just get my head into this and cook basically Little set up in the sunshine. This is absolutely delicious, darling. <laughs> darling. Thank <you. laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's actually come up really well. This is the recipe that I did first, and then I tried cooking another risotto, and it was just such a twatty recipe. But this is Carrie's easy recipe that she gave me, and it's so good. Good afternoon, everyone. I think I left you yesterday with us having lunch. Did I leave it then? But I ended up finally getting stuck into Normal People, the book, and I'm already halfway through. I cannot wait to read more of it this evening. And I'm like literally halfway through. I reckon that I could get it finished tonight if I wanted to, because I probably started quite late last night as well, probably about eight o'clock. And I didn't put it down until midnight. And then I got up at half five, because I woke up and Lumi wasn't on the bed. And so then that made me panic because she's always on the bed but I realized that Ali had put the fan up quite high and she does not like the fan so I found her in his office but look at this I knew it would be soon but it's literally the next day one of my roses actually a few of my roses let's get up onto this you can see there is a rose there and a rose there oh there's another one around here look oh, look how perfect that rose is oh I'm gonna cut some this year, I think, and have them in the house. Yeah, so I probably haven't had enough sleep, but I feel fine and I feel very, very like, just in a good mood today, which is lovely. And I managed to get Ali out of bed to join me on my 9K run this morning. So I did another 9K. No running for me tomorrow. I think what I'm gonna do is like two days on, one day off but also see how that goes because I don't want to like do any damage. So we did a good 9K, it was lovely. And it also started like raining a little bit just towards the end of it. So it's quite refreshing, but it was like big summer droplets of rain. It was so nice. And then I came home. I made myself a big old smoothie and had some jackfruit crisps. And that was my morning, basically. I've just been catching up on videos because I always like rewatch my videos just to make sure that I'm like up to date and I know what I've told you so that I'm not constantly repeating myself because can you imagine? I do enough of that anyway. This morning, I got tagged in something on Facebook. It's this video and it's got like 110 million views. And basically, I think it's a boyfriend and he's teaching his girlfriend how to have her iPad hands-free by using a thong. And it just so happened that he pans around and when she's got the iPad in the thong, she's watching my video. And I thought that was so cool. I've like indirectly got 110 million views. It's like, that's the most views I've ever had. <laughs> so that put a spring in my step this morning to be the video of viewing choice in a red thong. 
<laughs> but today I'm kind of taking things chilled. I, do you know what? I think that when we've got weather like this and we know that there's no prospect of us sort of going abroad on holiday anytime soon, when the weather gets like this, I'm kind of making the most of it and just chilling. I think the weather's gonna turn tomorrow and we're gonna have a couple of days of storminess, but at the weekend, I am going to be heading to see my best friend because she is going to be my chosen person that I go and see at two meters distance because I haven't used that up yet. Okay, I've not used that one person up yet. So I think Ali's gonna drive me over there, kind of catch up and see how we're, we're going with things. But it's a lovely day and I can't help but smile and just be happy and chilled. My house is clean as a whistle, totally clean as a whistle. My sprutlings are sprouting. It is a good day. Um, I don't know if that parcel in my hallway is my whispering angel. So I thought I'd get into that I also have some bits from me and Em that have been sent out as well. So I'm just gonna get into those bits because I don't know what's in them and I really wanna know. Everyone is opening a lot of parcels with you guys at the moment. And I think that for me personally, I'm a lover of clothes and I like buying clothes, especially when there's not much going on. There's not much like, you know, moments of joy. You tend to sort of do the things that bring you joy and I like having nice outfits to wear. I don't know whether that's just me though. Let me know in the comments if you are similar to me and that getting up, putting on a beautiful dress, putting on some nice makeup. It doesn't have to be like the world's best makeup because we know you're not getting none of that here, okay? I um, have a video going up tonight. I feel like at the beginning of lockdown, I was like Miss Productivity. I was very proactive and I feel like I'm relaxing a bit now. Maybe it's the sunshine, I don't know. But I have a video going up in a few minutes and I'm literally counting down the minutes so that I can get this book out and finish it. How much have I got to go? So this is how much I read last night. So I've still got a fair way to go. Maybe I'm like just over a third of the way through, but I reckon I can do that this evening. We've got another long weekend. It's a final long weekend, I believe, for a while until about August. But I think I'm gonna sit out here, read my book, enjoy a glass of wine, and probably respond to a few comments if I get time. What, because obviously I tend to try and finish work at five and my video goes up at five. So then when I respond to comments, I um, usually do it in the morning. That's just kind of what works best for me because I don't want to be working into the evenings. Obviously everyone's different. Everyone runs their channels differently. So if you ever don't get any responses from me, I do try and um, respond, but it's just usually the next day. It's kind of a bit like a summer holiday because I know things are starting to ease at the moment. So I'm just trying to take it easy before maybe we all go back to work and it gets a little bit more hectic. I mean, I've been going to work. I've been working the whole time. I ordered myself a little watering can. I've ordered myself a mint plant as well because I usually have quite a lot of peppermint tea but I want to have like my own mint plant and those I don't know whether I was even vlogging then but at my old house I used to try and have a mint plant and I kept killing it. I'm gonna do research and I'm gonna look oh there's a robin. I'm gonna learn how to look after a mint plant so that I don't kill it so that I can have fresh mint tea which I think I think I prefer to like peppermint tea. Find peppermint tea a bit. Do you know what I mean? But I am going to um, stop working soon and um, read my book so you can join me out here for a little bit of a book so far. I'm just absolutely, I'm in love with this book. Can't wait to finish it and then watch the program as well. Sadly, my crate of Whispering Angel doesn't arrive until tomorrow, but I'm not even that bothered because I've still got a bottle of either Mud House or Cloudy Bay. Baby, you wanting some wine? No? no. Okay, I'm gonna sit in the garden and read my book. Ali is the uh, dove from above. He just sits in his office, even though it's five o'clock. He's still working, always. There's a fresh coconut and blueberry cake on the stand. This is a BBC Good Food recipe. My flowers are still going strong. I topped up their water today. I was very, very surprised. I thought they'd die instantly, but I chopped all of their stems to an angle, removed all of the leaves from the stems, and they seem to be doing quite well. So I might take them out into the garden with me and open up my bottle of wine. What have we got? in the wine fridge oh we have some cloudy bay which will do nicely whilst i read my lovely book just a big one So Lids and I were just sitting in the lounge and we could hear a little bit of rustling in the fireplace. Liddy was like, oh, I think a mousey's trapped. Got a bat in our fireplace. So we're trying to get it out. So I've opened up the big double doors that lead out 
and there's currently a bat just flying around the room and I don't know how to sort of like guide it out. When I, when I was younger, Mark, when I was at home, my mum's husband, so my stepdad, he grabbed a towel and he actually caught the bat as it was flying around and then let it out. I'm scared. <laughs> Bless it. It's probably so confused. It's like so close to where it needs to be, but so far. I don't know if we should turn the lights off or... Yes. It just came out. Good morning, everyone. I am actually so in love with how my tan has developed. I've got a little bit of a rub mark there from where I've been running and my top's been running. But other than that, I'm looking so nice and bronzed and glowy. I got halfway through my, my makeup and I thought, oh, I'm doing my brows. I um, got quite a lot of comments on last night's video about my brows and honestly, I never really thought it would be such a talking point. Ali and I are having a good old laugh about them ourselves. I'm kind of ineffected by how people think I should or shouldn't look. And um, I'm not gonna address my brows anymore because I honestly think that this is possibly the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever just really experienced on YouTube. I'm going to continue to grow out my brows to, to undo the damage that I did when I was younger and then have really lovely brows at the end of this. If that offends you, I'm not even gonna apologize. I won't ever apologize for the way that I look. So um, with that out of the way, I can't believe I'm addressing this. <gasps> Oh dear. I forgot actually that Ali filmed a bit of the bat that was in our living room last night because I didn't film it, I forgot. We were sat there and we thought that there was a mouse in the fireplace or something that must have like crawled in there. So Ali opened it up and I just didn't believe him. And he was like, there's a bat. And as he said it, the bat just flew out and it was a big one. I'm only used to seeing the little ones, um, but it was, it was a big bat. And then there was a spider as well. And it was all very hectic. Today is like the most windy day. So you can probably hear it in my Veluxes that the wind is like, Oh, I finished my book last night. I finished reading Normal People and I loved it. I loved it, I literally read it in like 24 hours. It was quite frustrating. And obviously I don't want to ruin it for people that haven't read it, um, but it was quite frustrating. It wasn't because it needed to be that frustrating, if that makes sense. It just felt a bit repetitive, the scenario that played out. And there wasn't really any like proper reasoning. I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I'm gonna watch the show now. Um, the one thing I did say that was quite nice is that Ali was like, oh, I wanna start watching the show. And he put the show on and I was like, I don't wanna watch this before I've read the book. So he let me read the book before we actually continued, but I'd seen the characters. So it was nice that I already had a picture of the characters in my head when I was reading it. So I can't be disappointed when I watch the show, if that makes sense. So maybe we'll start watching that tonight, but it's Friday today and it's quite a chilled day. I've had so many homeware deliveries downstairs. My box of Whispering Angel has arrived as well, which I'm so happy about. I'm gonna get that straight in the wine fridge. Some other little tidbits that I've been buying for around the house. One of the pieces is like, like a piece of art and it was actually handmade, so it's taken in a few weeks for it to arrive. What else is there down there? I don't know. Oh, I think my mint plant has arrived as well, which I'm so excited about. I've got so many plants that I've got to like actually plant, which is fabulous. Oh wow, we've got a lot of rosé wine. So this is Notorious Pink. I'm trying this. So this was sent to us as a gift by Josh Patterson. He is one of the nicest people that Ali and I have like met in this industry. We met him at a Clinique event years ago. I think it was at Annabelle's and um, just such a nice guy. You know those people that you just walk away and you're like, such a nice guy. That's Josh. He saw that we were drinking some rosé and he was like, I, you need to try this rosé. This is just the most amazing rosé. He sent us a box of the rosé himself. Thank you so much, Josh. I'll link Josh's Instagram in the description box down below. So I'm gonna load up my fridge with these bottles of Notorious Pink. Got my Whispering Angel as well, which is in here. We also have Carrie's dad here socially distancing, of course, at the moment. He's taking a look at our lawnmower. Honestly, our lawnmower has been such a nightmare. We've spent a fortune on it. It's, it's Ali's um, ride-on lawnmower. And to be honest, I just want it fixed so that I can watch him mowing the lawn with his top off. It's what summer's all about and it's not working. And it's been fixed before as well. And we've only had it since we moved in here. I'm very annoyed about it. Let's get into these boxes. One thing I do have to say is the presentation of these Whispering Angel boxes is so pleasing to the eye. It's so Instagrammable. They know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> in this next box, I think it's my mint plant. It is, oh my God, they're gonna look so bad. 
This is my first time ever ordering plants on Amazon. Oh my god, they smell amazing. Okay, they desperately need water. I'm going to read up on how to keep them alive because I want to have these in my fresh made tea. For now, I think I'm going to use old plates from our old house just to stand them on and I'm going to find some pots. Hopefully, they survive because one of the other things I bought myself so that I can stop using the kitchen gravy boat as a watering can. Oh, it's so cutely packaged. So this is from a brand called Hawes. And basically I wanted a galvanized mini watering can. Oh my God, it's so small. So that I can water my little sproutlings. Oh, look at that. This is so adorable. It's handcrafted in England, established in 1886. Um, this is about 20 pounds, I think. Oh, and a little note as well. Happy watering. So adorable. I got it from a company called The Future Kept. It was a really lovely store, actually. They had loads of lovely things on there. So yeah, obviously, like I said, I bought everything, okay? Everything is bought. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Let's get some water in here. Also, should probably quickly read about them. Ooh, it says to mist the plant between watering or set the container on a water-filled tray of pebbles. Hmm, interesting. Oh, how conflicting. Prefers to be kept moist but not overly wet. And then I read another one that says, unlike other plants, mint needs a lot of water. You do not need to water it the whole day long. I do it only once or twice if necessary. Just make sure the soil is always humid. I've just popped them in the sunshine because they've been in a dark... Oh no, that might shock them. I'm going to pop them here in the shade instead so they get sunshine, but not directly. I have just devoured a number of pieces of cake. Feeling a lot better, but how cute is my husband? He knows that I love feathers. He found a pheasant feather in the garden and he bought it in for me. I'll probably frame it or something like that. I just love their feathers so much. They are the most beautiful birds. Um, I'm making a hot mess in here, by the way, but a lot of people have messaged me on Instagram about this notorious pink wine. First of all, wow, these bottles are stunning, but apparently Southwick Fine Wines is the only place that you can get this. Lots of people were like, oh my gosh, where did you get this? It's the only place that has it. Look at these glass lids. People were saying that this is the best rosé that they have ever, ever had. So I'm excited. I feel like I'm, a, I'm becoming a bit of a wine influencer now. Huh. Love it. <laughs> if you want me to test your rosé, call me. <laughs> Let's start getting into things. What is this? Aha, a top up of items from Elizabeth Arden, finally. Oh my gosh, I have their face mist. I also wanted to try their Lash and Brow Enhancing Serum. And then this is for Carrie. This is a ceramide replenishing oil. Um, I use this every day at the moment and she wants it as well. So that's for her. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get this blooming face mist on my face. It's so nice. It's almost like thermal. Is that the right word? That it, like, it feels like it heats up on your skin and it... Oh, I just love a face mist. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. So this is a piece of art that is handmade that I ordered online. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. <laughs> wow. And I will link this in the description box because I honestly cannot believe how incredible the prices were on these things. And you can get, I ordered one once years ago from a store and it arrived and it was plastic and I couldn't believe how bad it was. So to find this, I can't believe it. So I wanted to order one just to see what they were like. But price-wise, I was so impressed. Oh my gosh, I cannot drop this. This is a bust statue of, v I'm touching her boob. <laughs> um, this is a bust statue of Venus. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Oh, I'm over the moon. Ali is going to love this. I'm going to have to order another one. And I cannot believe the price of this. It was 
I believe, £68. I'll link it in the description box, but I wanted to buy a few more that were slightly more expensive, but this one I love. She just, she just looks so serene and beautiful that I thought I'd try this one first, but now I know what they're like, I will order more. Again, I purchased this myself. Sorry, love, grabbing you by the neck. Just popped it in the living room, not even styled it, and it already looks, it just looks amazing where you leave it. Babe, what? come here. You're gonna like this. That's what I'm talking about. Pick it up. <laughs> Handmade. Wow, it's heavy. It's like made to order. Wow, is it me? No, it's Venus. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, you're your desire. No. <laughs> What's the song? Isn't it that is the song, but Venus is a Greek goddess. Isn't that a shaver? Yes, but at first it was a Greek goddess. She's <laughs> looking super smooth. Um, guess how much that cost? 500 quid. 68 pounds. Wow. It's amazing. Good little Venus. You? are not supposed to be on the table, you naughty little moo. What will people say? You have found the compost. Look at that waggy tail. <gasps> Lumi, everyone was very upset that you didn't appear in my vlog that went live last night. I hope you realize how upset people were and how much people love you. I hope you know. Do you know? Yeah. I thought you did. That's right, we have compost and my husband didn't tell me, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort these little guys out because I can't have them growing out of these things anymore. Apparently you are supposed to sort of like crumble the discs, but I followed the instructions and I googled it and it didn't say anywhere to do that. So um, I just let them grow out of these what look like a little poo. <laughs> it's upsetting me so I'm going to pot them properly so that they stick up out of the top of the, the pot as well. I don't think the rosemary is starting sadly but at least they're going to get a nice new home. This is the final order of the day. This I believe is my luggage stand for my other Louis Vuitton trunk. Now my fat, ooh, this looks nice. Um, it says coach house on it, so I'm guessing it came from that big furniture supplier that has a terrible reputation, but most people use them. Oh wow. So this is a bamboo legged. <laughs> A bamboo legged luggage stand. The other one that I got, that sort of orangey toned wood one, was from Amazon. Oh my goodness. Let's get this up here. I'm proudly showing my husband all of the items that I've bought because I know he's going to love them. Yes, 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 yes. Nice, isn't it? It's so nice. It just makes the trunk more visible. It's it, too yeah. small on the floor. Yeah, but it's also, it's not supposed to be a coffee table, this no, one. It, like, we've put it, we need to lift this up so that yeah. this area. Lovely. Well done. Good purchase. Looks really nice. Can you imagine? Like, well, I'm going on holiday. Can you imagine having to take that on holiday? It'd be a nightmare, it? It's got leather. Um, yeah, I saw it. It's beautiful. The pinny is back on. I actually can't believe how many people went on to buy this apron. I never ever thought I would be an apron influencer as well, <laughs> but I'm glad you liked it and thank you Carrie for getting it for me because it is getting so much use. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pot these um, herbs first, I've got my gloves, and then I'm going to make some pasta in our tummies, that's for sure. Also, we've had these dropped off, these are the samples for our composite cladding in the basement. Um, we've obviously been waiting to have that done. We're just waiting for some samples of the patio tiles to be dropped off. These ones were sort of ones that we were thinking, weirdly, we can't really have the same coloured floor. Like if we were to have the cladding on the walls and on the floor, you couldn't have the same colour. I don't know if we're not looking at the right place, um, but we're looking at this colour for the walls, but it's, it's kind of an off white. It will probably just look a normal shade of white on camera, but it's very much like an off, off white. There is sunlight down there and it gets sun in the morning, but we want to have as much light down there because it was painted a sort of gray color when we moved in and turning it white made it so much brighter down there. We're having this done because obviously the water comes through the wall, not the water, but the damp. Um, so this should hopefully stop it and make it a much more beautiful area down there. It's costing us a lot of money, but it will be worth it. And it will make that space more usable for the office and also more usable for us when we have guests over and we like enjoy 
the um, games room and drink and have parties down there. So yeah, anyway, those are the samples that were dropped off today. Now, we just gotta wait for the patio samples to decide what we are going for. Got my little sprinklings, because this one, it's even got little roots in there. Like, look, it's little baby roots. Oh, it's so cute, look. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> His little woods, look. Oh, that actually makes me want to cry, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a little bit of compost in there. There we go. Okay, they are both repotted. Hopefully they're all right. <laughs> I haven't killed them. Needless to say, I probably won't do that at the kitchen island again. A um, lot messier than I thought. The broccoli and cheese pasta is under the grill. This kitchen did look like a bomb had hit it, but I've managed to dump everything in the sink and hide most of it. Table is set. We are gonna test out this gorgeous rosé for the evening, I think. And he's just as excited as I am. Put that on the table. Good morning, everyone. We have fresh hair. Feels very nice and soft. <laughs> I left you when we were just about to finish, well, just about to sit down to dinner and we were trying the Notorious Pink for the first time and it was lovely. It's almost got a little bit of like a, it's just like a little spritz in your mouth. It's like a little sparkle. It's really quite nice. Um, I really liked it actually. I think Ali and I want to do a day where we sort of like do a bit of a wine tasting of our favorite ones and see which ones we like best just at home so I think we're gonna do that but today I am leaving my village for the first time since the 16th of March I think it is yeah I'm leaving my village I'm going to enjoy a Sunday afternoon with my best friend for the first time since she left for Nepal. I'm leaving to go in a half an hour. I don't know what to wear. I don't know what to put in my handbag. I don't, I literally don't know anything. I feel like I'm going on a first date. It's so funny. She's gonna cook lunch and we're gonna obviously gonna like sit in um, her back garden and um, drink champagne and just chill, obviously socially distancing. But it's really exciting and just very nerve wracking. But I'm so looking forward to seeing her and hanging out and doing best friend stuff. I think I'm gonna clip these bits of hair back though because they are already annoying me and I can tell I'm just gonna fiddle with them. Yesterday was a wake up call. So last week I ran I think 48 kilometers, not in one go obviously, but I did run six times in seven days. Maybe I overdid it a little bit and I crashed, like absolutely crashed. I could not get off the sofa. I managed to get like showered and stuff, but I was just in and out of sleep all day. I mean, I did the washing, but I just snoozed on the sofa. Like I think Ali left to go and get food for dinner and stuff like that. And I had no idea. I didn't even know he'd gone. I've also slightly twinged my ankle. So I think I'm gonna have to have a few days off uh, of running, which is really sad because I feel like I'm like getting into it so much and it's like addictive and I know what I'm capable of doing now. But I do think I maybe need to drop down like what I'm running. Like I don't need to run 10k or 9k like four times a week. Carrie even said to me you should probably do like two 5k's and if you want to like two 10k's or two 9k's and I'm like yeah that's probably a bit better and aim to run like four times a week and that's what I'm gonna do but I'm loving it and feeling so like healthy and fit. I'm just so sad about my ankle. I'm hoping it's just like a little bit of bruising because I didn't like wobble it or anything. I didn't hurt it. It was just as I came down the last stretch of the road that I was like, oh, my ankle feels a bit weird. So I'm putting lots of my CBD thing that I got from Cult Beauty that I use on my hands. I've been putting lots of that on it. Oh my God, that's like an instant relief. It is so good. If you ever get any sort of like pain um, or anything, it's instant. It's so good. I can't get over how good it is. But yeah, so I need to pick an outfit that I'm going to wear today. I think I want to wear like a dress but flats. I'm just so into flats at the moment. I feel like I'm over heels. I want to pick up some really beautiful like delicate sandals. I saw some nude Gian Vito Rossi flip flops but I think they're sold out in my size. Uh, I've got my like Birkenstock style ones coming from Net-a-Porter but I don't even think they've been dispatched which is I'm just dreading how long this is going to take. No. 
hasn't even been dispatched yet and I ordered it like two or three days ago so I posted it on my insta stories for anyone that like wanted to see what I'd been buying they were higher end purchases but they were quite practical ones it's where I'm like more happy to spend my money if that makes sense I'm happier to do so when it's like something that is quite basic but will last so I got myself a really beautiful pair of cream Birkenstocks style sort of sandals from Vince. That's what I wanted. I, I don't love the cork heels of um, Birkenstock. So I wanted something quite neutral, but looked quite comfortable. I could not believe how many people swiped up on those sandals to get them, unreal. And then I got these sort of high-waisted trousers that are like, they're kind, they kind of look like jodhpurs, like my old jodhpurs, but they're, they're not. They're just like basically a hybrid of legging and trousers and they kind of blur that line. So hopefully they'll be super comfortable, but I'll be able to wear them when I've got like my Dubri boots on when I go walking and stuff like that, or I can dress them up as well. So they look super flattering. They're from a brand called Altzura. I think that's how you say it, I never know. I also picked up a cardigan from a new brand. It was expensive for, if you're talking against like um, high street prices, but for net a -Porte prices, it was like under 200 pounds. And it was like cinched in at the waist. It was like a linen blend. It looked really beautiful. I also got a dress and a skirt. If they arrive, I'll show you them in this video. Otherwise, you can expect to see them later on because they're really, really pretty. But today, I've got to choose what to wear. I don't know whether to wear linen trousers and a cute top or a dress. Either way, I need to take a cardigan with me in case I get cold because it's been a bit windy. It's been really weird. It's not supposed to be windy today, but it is. I've gone for minimal makeup. May need a little bit of powder though. I'll just use what's left on my brush though. But yeah, minimal makeup, just some tinted moisturizer, some bronzer, some mascara, and some lips. I don't know whether I should take a bottle because I think that the Night Timber Magnum is going to be quite a lot for us to get through. Oh, fragrance. What fragrance? I haven't worn perfume in so, so long. So I thought I would wear this one from Erin. This is their Mediterranean Honeysuckle. Oh, so delicious. Like, I'm really sort of into the more floral fragrances at the moment, especially in spring. And this is, I mean, I love Erin fragrances, you know. This is so fresh. Oh my God, I love this. And just the bottles, they look so beautiful on your dressing table. I've got the wild geranium on there at the moment, but this is like more their summer fragrance. This, this smells like holiday, but like not the coconutty type of holiday. It's like the fresh, squeezing, fresh citrus fruits on like drinks or cocktails, but with oh, everything, fresh, fresh flowers. Oh, I love it. This is the outfit that I'm gonna wear today. This is my Reese dress. I get so much wear out of this. It's amazing. It's the perfect dress for just throwing on and looking nice. Um, I've also popped my Golden Goose sneakers on because they're comfortable and I just wanna sort of be a little bit easy on my ankle, but I'm, I don't know whether to put my Hermes sandals on. They're just so tight, but no, I'm gonna keep these on because they're comfortable and the weather's a bit interchangeable, so it's not that warm. Anything else that I might need, I don't even know where my purse is. It's been so long. It's been so long. But yeah, this dress will be linked down below because I think it's still in stock. This is the cardigan that I'm going to take with me. Just wrap it up. Oh, Bean. Right, where is my purse? Pop that in me. I want to snip her one of my roses as a gift because you like, you never go empty handed, but she doesn't want me to bring alcohol. So I'm going to go snip her one of my roses. I think, as I feared, they've been battered by the wind a little bit. And I think we are ready to go. Oh, I also forgot to show you that I ordered a further seven of the Sewn by Bee cushions. Um, she has gone and put a different pillow pad that's more similar to the ones that I have, but I'm not sure, I'm still not sure. They feel quite empty in comparison to the ones that I have. So I think what I'll do is I'll swap them over again and I, maybe I'll send these pillow inserts back. It just seems like a bit of a waste if I don't use them. But we're gonna unpack these. I've got some of these for the lounge and the chairs and also for the kitchen. So, and I'm looking into hopefully getting B to provide some fabric so that I can have some blinds made out of this as well. So yeah, really excited. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm actually sat here in a top, but also some pants. <laughs> which is not advised when you are in a room full of mirrors. My um, makeup today is pretty much try and make myself look alive because obviously I spent the evening with Carrie and we ended up drinking a magnum and a bottle of champagne together. We were laying her cat to rest in her garden um, who 
was sadly put to sleep um, a few months ago and she'd obviously wanted to lay him to rest. So we did that. Um, socially distancing, of course, but it was very, I was crying my eyes out. Honestly, I was crying my eyes out. So if I'm looking a little bit puffy today, that will be why. Also, champagne. Ali is currently down in the basement. He is starting to move the gravel, pebble things out of the basement because we will be having that area zhuzhed up because I'm the type of person that really likes to make the best out of everything. I didn't even know it was a fire exit, okay, I had no idea, but it just looked like a lovely little courtyard in our basement and it made me very happy and I want to make it look lovely. So I'm making that fire escape the most beautiful fire escape that you've ever seen. And you're gonna wanna spend time in there with me. We are gonna be having the walls clad with composite cladding and we're just trying to work out whether we'll have the paving done as well at the same time. So Ali started work on that. I just put all of the cushions out in the garden because um, it is is supposed to be about 10 days of very beautiful weather and so Ali and I are probably going to be spending a lot of time in the garden which is really nice. We also had a chat last night and I told Ali that I have made a decision on something and it's been something that I almost booked when Carrie was in Nepal so just before we went into lockdown I was planning on doing it then um, but I kind of chickened out and I wanted to make sure that it was possible and things like that and I don't really feel the need to share this on my channel but it is something that I'm gonna go through and you're gonna know that I'm going through it. Also, I'm really not like shy. I know that people often speculate about things, about the way that I look and stuff like that, but um, I've always been really open and honest about things because it just, it doesn't really phase me all that much in terms of like telling you things. But I have made the decision that once all of this is over and we are relatively back to normal, I would like to potentially have my implants removed um i'm gonna wait and see what the actual person that i end up going with to do i don't think i'm gonna go back to the person that i saw initially he's just quite a cold quite a cold person <laughs> and i remember that he's just very that was it and i i don't know it, it just didn't feel like we were like a match in terms of patient and doctor even though he's very very good yeah i i'm going to i'm going to have them removed and obviously weigh up whether i should have a smaller much more natural looking profile put in or whether i just have them taken out altogether i know that there are lots of people that speak online about having um issues with theirs i've never experienced any issues with mine um it's just that i wish i'd kind of just gone a bit smaller. I just feel like often that, that I don't really like them that much. So I think I'm gonna have them sort of swapped. But I remember seeing Jamie Genevieve have hers done a few months ago and I messaged her straight away. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. Like I literally want to do this. So I've made the decision. I don't know when it will happen. I know that I've always had like loads of comments about the gap between my boobs. That will stay because it was there when I didn't have implants. Like that's just the way that my, my boobs were formulated. <laughs> naturally i'm really excited about it i've like put the money aside and i'm like yeah i think that it's the right time i'm almost at the point where i would need to have them changed anyway i'm hoping that they'll just say just have them taken out and you'll be fine but it might not be the case so we're going to see how it goes but yeah exciting times anyway i'm going to put some trousers on because i reckon if i cough you might be able to see that i'm in my my intimacy pants <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to probably head out into the garden, do a little po a little bit of pottering around out there. The flowers are in full bloom and it is the most beautiful day. The wind has stopped, so it's really, really lovely out there. My net a -porte order has been dispatched, so hopefully that will be coming in the next few days as well. I've also treated myself to a few new books that I want to try. I want to try it, that I want to read. Those bits and bobs are gonna be coming. We've got our food shop coming tonight. Um, we've been getting our food shop um, delivered just because there are slots, thanks to Tesco's. We don't usually shop at Tesco's, but we can get our slots um, on there now because I think it's kind of like settling a little bit. Ali wants to do a barbecue this evening. I'm going to open up the kitchen doors because it's my absolute favorite thing to do. I'm also gonna make myself some berries and coconut yogurt, which is my absolute favorite thing. It's like my favorite snack. Also, my mint plants, they look like they're on the mend. I'm giving them a little bit of water every day. I feel like nothing online really tells you what plants need. I'm just feeling the soil. If it feels a bit dry, then they get a little drinky. But they seem to be loving it and lapping it up, so I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a clean. And then I'm gonna have some mint tea later, I think. It's so funny, I never ever usually order a peppermint tea, but in our house, that's all we've got. 
and I never even thought about like actually having my own mint plant so that I can have the tea that I love so much. They are currently in the pots that they came in, the ugly plastic pots, but I've ordered some beautiful aged terracotta pots. <coughs> Uh, that should be arriving next week. In the meantime, before I get my planters that are gonna be going on the patio, which I've ordered. And then once they're out of the terracotta ones, I'll pop, hopefully, the sprutlings will be um, big enough to go into there as well. So that'll be good. So I'll get like two uses out of the same pot. Ali's also asked for some watercress. So I'm actually gonna look on Amazon to see if they've got little watercress plants that I can buy there, or just seeds, because I'll, well, I'm a bit of a growing extraordinaire now. <laughs> Basically spent the entire day faffing in the house and I think that I've got this kind of area here to a really good place. I still need to add a few little more decorative bits to this area, but I've taken some stalks from, what is it called? My European plum tree? I think that's what it is. This goes a really beautiful white flower in springtime and then they kind of die off. I don't think I've ever seen any fruit on it though, so it may need a little bit of TLC, but I popped some of the stalks into my vase and had a little style up of that area there. We've got the antique telescope down here now. I think it works really well in that area. I think if I'd put a chair in there, it would have been a bit too much chairiness in this room because these little marshmallows <laughs> um, are bigger. We don't want it to be too much. This side, obviously I haven't, I haven't done anything with. I've been talking about doing it for ages. I've also given these guys a bit of TLC as well. Basically, I cut all of the sort of like stalky bits back, anything that's sort of growing through, gave it some new compost, gave them a water, and they're looking a lot, a lot healthier, which makes me very happy. These were not looking the best. Oh no, this bit's been chopped off. I didn't mean to do that. Oops, it's like a whole stalk. <laughs> I guess it just means I get to make myself a really lovely mint tea with these ones, so they're not going to waste, because that is why. I got them. My new cushions are out and looking very smart at the table, which I love. Ali has been so busy outside. He reckons he's got like another two hours left. But the amount of money that he has saved us for doing this himself, they were gonna get four guys to do this. And he is almost completely stripped back. We're gonna use it to sort of make a little feature over there, but we're also thinking about getting a pond. Maybe instead of our fire pit, we'll put a nice little pond area down here instead under the trees and then have like a bridge and things like that. But I mean, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. But it's a nice thing for the wildlife. Apparently our next door neighbor was just saying to us that the deer come and drink from the ponds because she's got one as well. So maybe we'll get ourselves our own pond. I am currently just uploading my YouTube video which should be going live in a few minutes. And I'm gonna sit out in the sunshine a little bit, but it's been a lovely day having a little faff in my house, which I'm enjoying a lot at the moment. If you can see over there, that is Ali with a blackbird. We think that it damaged its wing and Ali has been watching out for it all day. I don't think it's doing great, sadly. Oh, pop it. But from our experience with all of the people that we phone up, like the vets and RSPB and things like that, nothing ever gets done. They don't want to know about wildlife. Ali has worked tirelessly today. It's not gonna look that nice at the moment. It's gonna look a little bit damp and groggy, but he has pressure washed this entire place. All of the stones are out. We now have a little stone pit there. I don't know what we're gonna do with that, but this is obviously gonna be clad and it's going to hopefully be patioed. These steps are going white. So it should be starting really soon. We'll know more kind of next week. We're just waiting for samples for the patio, whether we're gonna go with patio or cladding on the ground as well but it's gonna make this area so much nicer. He's still over there with the bird. He doesn't know what to do. Where's Lumi? Lulu, where you gone? What are you doing? But what are you doing? What are you doing looking so beautiful up there? Hey, what are you doing looking so beautiful? Oh, look at you being so beautiful. <laughs> oh dear, people and their animals. It's ridiculous, isn't it, how we talk to them? They must just look at us like, you've lost the plot. Just give me some dreamies and shut up. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Mm. You sure know how to live your best life, don't you? The sun is setting. Mr. Mill and Gordon is on the barbecue, which is over the wall. I am cooking some fresh pasta. 
not that I made, but we got it from the local food shop. This is gluten-free Papa Deli, and all of the packaging is 100% recyclable, which is brilliant. I'm very excited for more of this stuff to be right on our doorstep. So that is cooking away. Ooh, it's cooking quick. 